What's going on guys? It's Ryan. Soda Bros Angling. Coming at you from a quickly thawing sheet of ice. Um, Southeast Minnesota is getting warm. This is going to be our 10th episode here. Just had a wicked storm system come through the Midwest. Messing up the barometric pressure a little bit, but this is episode 10 of Man Made. I appreciate you guys for, for uh, sticking around and and watching this thing. Um, before I did this, we, we did this series. Um, we were, you know, 40, 50 views on, on YouTube. And this series is 100 to 200 views, which is cool for me. I mean, cool for all of us to see this thing kind of growing a little bit. Um, I'm watching the tip of my pole here as we speak. But uh, I just wanted to personally thank you guys for uh, sticking around and supporting us. Um, we're just a bunch of guys that like to fish. And if you don't know, if you guys don't know me, a lot of people that watch this know who I am. But if you don't know me or you're watching this from somewhere else, and I've been really trying, I've been doing this type of thing for a long time since I was like 19 years old. I started off, I wanted to travel around the country and live out of a van. Um, obviously that didn't pan out. I have a wife and two kids, so <laughs> it panned out better than that. I'm not a nomad. Um, I was in the Conservation Corps for two years. Uh, that really opened my eyes a lot to a, um, a different side of, of the outdoor world, not just hunting and fishing, but conservation in general. You know, I got to play around in the wildfire game, and uh, yeah, it was a whole heck of a lot of fun. But I've always been trying to capture stuff on video, um, and fishing's really, really been a passion of mine for duration of, of my. Uh, teenage years in my adult life. Uh, I definitely like mountain biking, camping, and everything outdoors, but fishing really gets my gears rolling. So, and it does with everybody else I hang out with too, and that's kind of why it's why it's nice is because it brings us all together. We can, we can have a lot of fun and I can annoy the crap out of them by putting them on camera. And uh, this 10th episode, I don't, it's windy, it's, it's barometric pressures at like 30. And I don't really plan on catching much. Um, if I do, you'll see it here. But I just wanted to jump on here and and kind of give you guys a little backstory on my life, and uh, also let you know that I'm really grateful uh, for some people that watch this day in and day out every episode. That's pretty cool. I know that the uh, I know that the fishing market on the YouTube um, platform is pretty pretty flooded. But I, I'm doing my best to try to get away from what everybody else does, trying to be original. That's why I, I did the man-made series here. Um, not just going out fishing and posting it. I'm, I'm trying to make a story out of it. And that brings me to my next thing. Um, this summer, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do another series. Um, I haven't came up with the name yet, but it's going to be pretty sweet. And again, it's going to with the gas prices that uh, the, w the way they're going, we're probably going to stick around local on the boat, tugging the boat's expensive as it is, not let alone with five plus dollar gas. So staying local is kind of our plan. And uh, yeah, and we're going to try to show you what you can do on these local watersheds and and uh, see if we can have success. I personally have great success bass fishing. so. Luckily, I've got a beautiful spot here with a ton of bass. So hopefully you guys can uh, stick with me until this thing thaws out and we can plop the boat in. But for now, let's fish. All right, guys. So I've kind of bounced around a bit. Like I said, came out fishing. Didn't, didn't really think much was going to happen today. It's not going to happen. I'm going to show you why. In my opinion, why? Um, Chester Woods, where I'm at, is usually a pretty clear lake. Um, everything kind of settles and it just kind of hangs out real. There's current, but it's low current. I'm going to show you a couple of holes that I just punched here, and you tell me what's going on. All 
Okay. So, you can see there, there's some, there's the nice white sheet. It's almost like early ice out here. It's pretty incredible. And right there. And you can see punching, 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 everywhere. Really just getting after it, but we'll get in here. And you can see that is milky, milky, milky water. So, that's some milky water. And uh, unless you're going to set that Unless you're going to set that bait directly in their face or go off a of pure scent, um, you're going to be punched a lot of holes and you're going to be here for a long time with probably little reward. So I just wanted to get out here, get some fresh air on this beautiful Sunday. Uh, really just take a look around and realize, by, you know, next week or in two weeks, this will probably be gone. So thank you guys so much for tuning in for this winter for man-made my first we are we our first ever um, series pretty stoked about it um, more to come you know I'm not like I said this isn't for popularity so more to come because we like to document and and we're gonna document so uh, if you want to tune along great if you don't that's that's your choice so um, yeah this fish in here in the old milky Chester Woods is no good. So I'm going to end her here. Um, I just wanted to shout out to uh, Charlie Charlie Custom Rods for setting me up with some awesome rods this winter. Uh, those guys do more than more than most people know. Um, they do a lot for our nonprofit. They do a lot for me. They give me some pretty sweet gear. Check it out. They make me gear, um, but yeah, been an all around awesome season. Got to hang out with a lot of people. Got to have the ice expo, which was huge, right over there. And uh, yeah, no fish today, just a documentary, just a, uh, just chatting and uh, yeah. I guess we'll probably take a little break here and. We'll see you guys when uh, when we're dipping the boat in. See ya.